Lions are the rulers of the savanna, but they're not unstoppable. There are some animals that can fight them and make them wary. From prickly lightweights to massive heavyweights, let's find out which animals can intimidate lions and what makes them so dangerous. The Cape Buffalo Ever wondered why lions are afraid of Cape Buffalo? Well, it's because Cape Buffaloes are awesome animals that can kick lion butts. Let me tell you why. Cape Buffaloes have huge horns that can skewer and fling lions in the air like ragdolls. They also have thick skin and muscles that can resist lion bites and scratches like armor. Cape Buffaloes are very courageous and loyal to their herd. They don't run away from lions, but rather face them and chase them off like bullies. They also stick together and gang up on lions like an angry mob. Cape Buffaloes don't care about lion roars or claws. They're confident and proud animals that can challenge lion authority and dominance like rebels. And then there's the fact that Cape Buffaloes are one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. And lions do seem to know this very well, hence they only dare to hunt Cape Buffaloes when there's no other options. The Hyena Lions and hyenas are the arch enemies of the African savanna. They compete for the same food and resources, and they won't hesitate to kill each other's young. But who's the real king of the beasts? I think it's the lion with its majestic appearance and powerful roar, which actually isn't that powerful. But you'd be wrong. Lion's actually afraid of the hyena, in a sense. Why is this? Well, the hyena has something that the lion lacks. Teamwork. Hyenas live in large and complex social groups called clans. They can have up to 80 members, each with a distinct rank and role. They communicate with a variety of sounds and gestures, and they cooperate to hunt, fight, and defend their territory. Lions, on the other hand, are more solitary and less organized. They only form small groups called prides that consist of a few females and their cubs, and sometimes one or two males. They don't have a clear leader or a common strategy, and they rely on their strength and courage to survive. But when a pride of lions meet a clan of hyenas, they're often outnumbered and outwitted. The hyenas can surround them, harass them, bite them, and chase them away as well. And far from being intimidated by the big cat's size, they can even kill them if they get the chance. The Crocodile Lions are the kings of the land, but there's one place where they're not so royal, the water. That's where the crocs rule with a literal iron jaw. Crocs are the largest and most fearsome predators that hunt in the water. They live in freshwater habitats in Africa where they lurk and wait for their prey. Crocs can take down any animal that comes to their range and capability, including lions, buffaloes, leopards, and more. They have powerful jaws, razor-sharp teeth, and long tails that can snap, bite, and whip their prey. They also have thick scales that act like armor against attacks. Lions know that crocodiles are deadly in the water, so they try to avoid swimming or crossing the river unless they have to. Lions can't do much to defend themselves from a croc when in the water, so they're in trouble. And not being natural-born swimmers, escape is also not an option for a swimming lion caught in the crosshairs of an angry croc. On land, however, totally different story. Porcupine Porcupines are these cool rodents that have four fingers, teeth that never stop growing, and more than 30,000 quills all over their backsides and tail. And guess what? Those quills are their secret weapon against lions, or any predator for that matter. Some folks think that porcupines can shoot their quills like arrows, but that's simply a myth. Truth is, those quills are loosely attached and can easily come off when a predator touches them. So while the porcupines make a run for it, the poor predators left dealing with the pain and infection from those prickly quills. Back in the day, the ancient Romans even used porcupine quills as toothpicks, but lions, well, they're not big fans. Lions only go after porcupines when they're stuck in a tough spot and have no other choice. But guess what happens? Yeah, they end up regretting it big time because those quills find their way into the lion's mouth, paws, face, and possibly brain. Now, lions aren't exactly scared of porcupines. They know they're way bigger and stronger, but let me tell you, when those two get close, the porcupine has the upper hand. They can easily give a lion a painful injury, and the infection can sometimes cause a lion's death. Wildebeest Wildebeests are hefty antelopes, weighing as much as a small car, and they can call Africa their home sweet home. Grazing on grasses and shrubs keeps them satisfied. Here's the twist, though. Wildebeests need their fair share of H2O to quench their thirst, and that's where the plot thickens. You see, many lion habitats are located near rivers, the very spots where wildebeests flock for a refreshing drink. After their sips, nature calls, and the wildebeests have to make their way back across the river. And guess who's probably lurking by? Well, the lions. When a lion spots a wildebeest crossing the river, it can't help but give chase. It goes for the legs, the neck, any vulnerable spot it can sink its teeth into, really. But the wildebeest isn't about to back down without a fight. It kicks, gores, and headbutts the lions with its hooves and horns. And if things get real hairy, it lets out a call for its fellow herd members who come rushing to the rescue. 
and believe you me, even the mightiest of lion brides will turn tail and run if they see a thousand pointy horns running towards them. Black Mamba Don't get me wrong, lions aren't really deathly afraid of snakes like some kind of feline Indiana Jones, but they have learned to be wary of them. And the snake that these big cats really need to worry about shares a habitat with them, and that's the dreaded Black Mamba. These large snakes are deadly, and their reputation is well deserved. Swift, flexible, armed with venom potent enough to kill a human with just a couple of drops, Black Mambas demand the respect of even the cleverest of lions. If a lion sees a mamba, it quickly realizes the danger it's in, and avoids a confrontation. However, that's easier said than done. Mambas are stealthy, and it'd be very easy for a prowling lion to get too close to one and not realize it. And since mambas are known to be extremely jumpy, it'll immediately feel threatened and strike. Think that's highly unlikely? Well, that's exactly what happened to this poor lion. All the lion can do now is wait for a slow, inevitable death. The Baboon Now, a lion can easily take down a full-grown male baboon and make a meal out of it. There's no question about that. But here's the thing. It's a whole different story when it comes to facing a group of baboons. Picture this. A troop of over 20 baboons, including at least 10 tough adult males. That's a challenge for the lion. Baboons don't back down when their buddies and little ones are in danger from big cats. They're ready to fight tooth and nail to protect their true from the lion. In fact, baboons are so fearless, those bunch of hooligans have been spotted snatching lion cubs when they find them playing near the den without the lioness mom around. Those sneaky baboons grab the cubs and carry them up into the safety of the trees. So what happens is many lions choose not to mess with a baboon troop if it's got a bunch of those strong adult males guarding it. Lions know better than to risk a serious beatdown from the baboons. In short, we can say that lions have some fear of baboons, but only when they're a part of a large troop with at least 10 tough adult male baboons. The Hippo Hippos have a clear advantage over lions when it comes to physicality. Lions weigh around 310 kilograms, while hippos tip the scales at a whopping 1,800 to 2,000 kilograms. They're bigger and bulkier, with a tough skin that's about 5 to 10 centimeters thick, almost like a bulletproof shield. That means it's not easy for a lion to sink its teeth into a hippo and make an actual cut. Hippos have massive mouths that can open up to 150 degrees, and inside that mouth they have sharp, long canines that they use for defense. Their insides or teeth can reach about 40 centimeters, and the canines can grow up to 50 centimeters. They rely on these impressive teeth to fight off other animals, including lions. They also have a very strong bite force, measuring around 8,100 newtons. To give you some perspective, a single bite from a hippo can actually split a 10-foot croc in half. That's how powerful they are. So are lions scared of hippos? Answer, yes. In fact, it's extremely rare to witness lions successfully hunting and preying upon adult hippos, unless the adult hippos are old, weak, or injured enough to be vulnerable to a lion attack. Rhino Like hippos, rhinos have the size and strength advantage over lions. White rhinos can weigh around 3,500 kilograms, while the average lion weighs about 310. In fact, they're the second largest land mammal, just after the elephant. Rhinos have a rep for taking charge and going on the offensive if they feel threatened. They use their sharp horns on their heads to stab and potentially kill or severely injure a lion. In the wild, there's been numerous reports of rhinos charging at lions and sending them flying into the air. Lions do occasionally try and take on rhinos, but here's the thing. Not so simple for them to grab and bite and tear through a rhino's tough skin in order to prey upon it. Rhino skin's incredibly strong, typically measuring anywhere between 1 to 5 centimeters thick. It's made up of an ultra-dense fiber, and as a result, killing a rhino becomes a time-consuming, aggressive, and highly dangerous task for lions. So most of the time, they just back out of any potential encounter, which is the smart thing to do. The Elephant As we all know, elephants are gigantic creatures, towering over lions by about 8 to 12 times in size and weight. While the adult male lion weighs an average of 310 kilograms, a female elephant can weigh anywhere between 2,700 and 3,600. In fact, elephants hold the title for being the largest land animals on Earth. They weigh as much as a heavily loaded big truck. Lions, in comparison, stand no chance against an adult elephant. Lions fear elephants and are known to be chased away by them if they cross paths. For an adult elephant, it's effortless to deliver a forceful kick or crush a lion with its pillar-like legs. These legs provide robust support to their massive bodies, and are incredibly powerful. Adult male elephants are so formidable that they can take down up to seven attacking lions in a large pride. They achieve this by charging and crushing the lions to death. Additionally, an elephant can lift a lion with its trunk and stab it in the belly using its strong and powerful ivory tusks. While it's true that lions are the only predators powerful enough to kill an elephant in the wild, it's an incredibly challenging task. It typically requires a group of at least 15 to 20 lionesses to bring down one. 
even if it's older. See you all next time.